Hurricane season is right around the corner. In fact, it officially begins in 11 days. Yeah, and we've already had our first named storm of the year, and the National Hurricane Center is expecting to name more than a dozen others. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez has details that were released this morning. Good afternoon. Noah is predicting a very busy hurricane season, and this year especially, they're stressing preparedness as we battle the COVID-19. The National Hurricane Center forecast an above-average season with 13 to 19 named storms, 6 to 10 becoming hurricanes, and 3 to 6 of those major hurricanes. There's a 70% chance of this happening. The current health crisis and resulting health guidance, including social distancing, are on all of our minds as we take the necessary steps to stay healthy. This is especially important as we factor those actions into planning how to take the right safety precautions when a hurricane or other severe weather threats. However, this hurricane season is no different than any other in the sense that early planning and preparedness is essential. This is a video of the effects of Hurricane Harvey in 2017. Unusually warmer water in the Atlantic Ocean and the absence of El Nino are contributing factors in this year's forecast. If it's correct, this would be the fifth consecutive year of above normal activity. FEMA has been working with the CDC regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. They say if you're in an evacuation zone, you shouldn't hesitate to leave your home in fear of coronavirus. Evacuation centers, you have to keep in mind, they're meant to keep you safe, but not necessarily comfortable. So it's a place where a lot of people will gather. Um, they'll put a, a, their, they'll implement uh, social distancing and other measures in according to CDC guidelines, but it's preferable to go to someone's home if possible. They predict the peak months of this hurricane season will be August, September, and October. As we know, and as we need to start preparing, hurricane season begins on June 1st. Reporting near downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.